We have a new rap beef that's hotter than the all-star breakfast at the Waffle House. Jim Jones and Pusha T, the battle we didn't expect, but we here for. Look, this all started because Jim Jones was mad that Billboard, Billboard? put up a top 50 greatest rappers of all time list. Now, when I look for rap music and I'm looking for the history of rap, the number one source I go to outside of the Encyclopedia Britannica is Billboard. Why would we listen to anything that Billboard says when it comes to rap, all right? They just take the most popular rap and like, oh, yeah, yeah okay, cool. All right, so Jim Jones got mad at this list because Pusha T was on it and he was not on it. And so, he said on The Breakfast Club that Pusha T is a not top 50 rapper. He said on The Breakfast Club that Pusha T is not a top 50 rapper. Jim, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Now, look, being me, I'm a hip hop bar giver. I give it up to one of the greatest spitters of all time who actually writes his rhymes. Jim, also, I do love Jim Jones. All right, he started just as Cameron's homeboy. But I will say this, Jim Jones has put up the most authentic New York music in the past five years. He ain't doing no drill. All right, he doing straight up New York music. He wasn't doing down south beats. He was doing New York music, fam. All right, he was so New York, he had a chopped cheese. He was getting at the Aki way. He was doing a backhanded compliment like, look, man, push out out the pusher. You know what I mean? You ain't really move weight like that. Okay, also, you know, it's cool, but you know, you're not top 50. Nobody knows five songs. You ask the Breakfast Club, name five Pusha T songs. Can you recite them back to back? All right, now, that's disrespect, man. You know, if you've been around some New Yorkers, that's disrespect. Put a light jab out there, and he was out there in Paris Fashion Week with Pharrell was hosting for Louis Vuitton. And so him and Malice, Okay, hey, no malice now. Was out there walking the fashion show just for Pharrell, okay? But when he was walking on the runway, he was playing this diss song. This is light for Pusher. All right, we already know Pusher put away people. All right, you know, Pusher did his thing, went against Drake, the one you guys love and adorn. All right, your, your, your magical Drake, your god Drake, and finished him. Finished him, finished him. So, this was light. I'm playing your diss song, and no one's ever did this. No one's ever done this. I'm playing your diss song while I'm ripping the runway. Take that, Tyra Banks. I'ma give points to Jim Jones. You did what you're supposed to do old school way. Back in the mixtape day, we used to just take a song that we heard, all right, we couldn't, and try to rip just the first five seconds of it. Real rappers know what I'm talking about. And then loop that sucker and then try to spit over it, okay? Like, oh, that song ain't even out yet. We just got the, all right, the instrumental's not out. That's what we used to do. That's what I'm saying right now is I get props to Jim for doing that. Like, I get props to him ripping the song and freestyling over it, giving out just one verse. But Jim, you know when you mess with the bull, you're going to get the horn. So you can't sit here and throw a light jab out to push her. 